Uh, we're here at Newell High School with their head football coach Tyrell Bonnet. And Tyrell, thanks for taking time to visit with us on Black Hills TV. You bet. It's good to be here. Four games under your belt so far? Yes, sir. Been a pretty, been a pretty tough season so far. Our schedule is always pretty tough. Um, you know, a lot of the football teams in this area are, are pretty darn good, and they've been darn good for a long time, and they will be for, for quite a few years to come. Um, got a good group of boys this year. We're really young. Um, I think there's two seniors, three juniors, and the rest of them are all sophomores and freshmen. Um, and so I think all in all, there's 17 of us. So, you know, there's 12 or 13 of us that are sophomores and freshmen. Um, so just getting some good reps for these younger guys and getting them some experience and some playing time. And, uh, you know, if a guy does that, good things should be, should be in the future. Oh, yeah, with well, a young team, there's always uh, good things to come next year and the year after. Uh, definitely, definitely, no, and, and the experience goes a long way. Uh, it's kind of, kind of tough and rough in the, in the process, but it always, always helps in the future. What kind of offense you guys run? A uh, little bit of this and a little bit of that. Um, we don't stick to one thing over the other. Um, we try and play to our strengths. We've got a couple, couple running backs that are pretty quick on their feet, some receivers that are very talented, um, pulling in passes and whatnot. So we kind of mix it up, a little bit of power eye, um, some ace formation, just some odds and ends, kind of whatever works with, with the opponent we're up against that week. Who are some of those uh, running backs and receivers you're talking about? Uh, William Jules. Um, he's pretty quick on his feet, and he sees the field very well. Um, couple of our receivers, Jameson Duncan, thinks on his feet as well, um, puts himself in the right spot. Um, Nate Randolph and Jaden Tennis are a couple other receivers that really, really stand out and, and, and get themselves where they need to be to make big plays when those plays need to be made. Um, and Chase Vanderboom, that quarterback, reads the field, field very well um, and not afraid to make something out of something that, that isn't there. This Friday you play Dupree, and they're also looking for a win. Uh, yes, and last couple of years we've gone back and forth with Dupree. Um, you know, they, they whipped us last year and the year before we got them whipped. Um, so it'll be interesting to see. I know they're pretty young and green this year as well. Um, so looking at that, it should be a pretty even matchup and just kind of look forward to Friday night. Yeah. All right, Terrell, thanks for uh, taking time to visit with us. You bet. Thank you very much. We're visiting with Tyson McDonald, the Newell Irrigators volleyball coach. And Having a good season, Taisha, right? Yes, I think we're really coming along. This is my third year. We're really starting to get a program together. Um, I had some senior girls come out that haven't played in the past, and so they're kind of new to the game, but really athletic, so they kind of took it on quite quickly, and we're still learning from those little mistakes that come from not truly understanding the game, but we're really getting past that. We're getting past kind of the slumps, and coming out on top at the end of it. And we played some tough teams and we played with them a lot. Yeah, some girls are playing pretty well. Yes, um, my middles especially, they've been getting up on the block, really swinging hard. Caden Steele is my senior. Um, and then I have a freshman, Jalen Went. Those are my two middles and they just attack the net 24 seven. They've got some height and some athleticism to them and they do a really good job. Up next is Bison. Yep, we play Bison tomorrow and we're Hoping to get a good practice in, really get the blood flowing, and hopefully come away with the win tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for taking time to visit. Of course. And we're visiting with Kyle Sanderson, the Newell Irrigators cross-country coach. And Kyle, how's the season going? So far, the season's been going pretty good. Uh, you know, our kids haven't competed since last winter in sports or raced since last October. So uh, right now, we're just kind of shaking the rust off and getting back in the groove of racing. Uh, we've had a couple meets so far. We had uh, opened our season in Douglas, and then we had our conference meet up in Faith. Uh, just ran in Belfouche just last week. Um, so far, the kids have done pretty well. The girls' side, uh, we're returning our varsity from last year. We just lost one runner. Uh, Alexa Bertsloff was our top finisher up in Faith, uh, won the individual title. Um, with her, Rachel Irk, not too far behind, and Stacy Mayhoffy and Sarah Kirby rounded out that team to help the girls win their conference title. Uh, it's actually the girls' seventh title in the last eight years, so they've been uh, performing really well when we do go to our conference meet. Uh, on the boys' side, we have a lot of new faces out. Uh, we are led by Garrett Winkler, who um, brings a lot of experience for us as a state placer last year. Uh, 
placed in the top 10 for our regions conference, all that. So he's kind of leading us in experience, but after him, we have a lot of new faces. Uh, one of them is David Morales Sr. He came in and ran a lot this summer. He put in a lot of time to try to get ready for cross country, wanted to give it a try as a senior, and he's doing pretty well. The last couple of races, I've seen more confidence and aggressiveness, uh, but we also have a couple other new kids like Elijah Stomprud, Caleb McGregor is out, uh, and they're, they're working hard trying to figure out these races. With each race these kids run, the more confident they feel out there. So as the season goes on, we're looking uh, more and more excited about that. Uh, we also have as a returner, he's still kind of new in my book, uh, Mick King. He's running again for us this year, just his second year. And so we're excited to see what he can do his second year. He made it to state last year and showed a lot of improvement and hoping to keep improving upon that this year. Um, along with both guys and girls, said we had some conference success. We're hoping both teams will finish top three in our region so they can both make a, take a full squad to state. And then um, this year with regions and state being pretty wide open for everyone, we want to see what kind of damage our girls or guys team could do when we do get to those uh, meets at Phillip for regions and then when we go to Rapid for state. What's your next event? Next event is our home meet. Uh, here in Newell, just down at the Newell Golf Course. We're excited to host our meet. Uh, we've done it now for a few years, and we're looking forward to doing it again. We see a lot of teams from our conference, but also uh, I think we have some team coming from Bowman, and even a couple Class A schools gonna drop in and run with us. All right, very good, uh, good luck, Coach. Thank you very much.